Hello my friends. Today I am going to show you how to get started with Komorebi, which is a tiling window manager for Windows. We are going to run through the quick start and I'm going to show you how to get up and running with your windows tiled using uh, sample configurations from the repo in hopefully just a couple of minutes, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I am running this on a Hyper-V VM, which is pretty close to, you know, a standard installation of Windows 11. Um, the only thing I have done in advance is I have installed the Scoop Package Manager, uh, which requires these two commands. So let's just run these again um, for the sake of completeness. Okay, Scoop is already installed, but had it not been installed, it would just install it. Um, so once Scoop is installed, you open up a terminal window and you come over to the quick start part of the README. The first thing that we need to do is add the extras bucket to Scoop. You'll get this message that Git is required to um, install buckets or to add buckets. Most of you, I believe, um, will probably already have Git installed if you have Scoop installed. Um, but yeah, if you are installing on a brand new machine, that's how it is gonna, that's how it's gonna look. So once you have installed Git, you can add the extras bucket might take a couple of seconds because this is, I think, probably the, the biggest public um, bucket of applications um, in the Scoop ecosystem. Once that is added, you can start with the next commands. And actually, you can do both of these on one line, right? Install WHKD, the Windows hotkey daemon, also developed by me, uh, and Komorebi. Uh, so these are installed now and the next thing we need to do is install the sample configurations. We'll take a look at these in a moment, um, but first let's just get them here. Uh, and you can really just copy and paste each one of these. This is just making sure that a folder exists. It might exist for some of you, but if you are on a brand new installation of Windows 11, it most likely will not. Um, this is the final file. So let's take a quick look at these files, right? So we have this sample PowerShell file. What this is gonna do is if this Windows hotkey daemon that we have installed is not running, it will start it in the background as a hidden process. Then it's going to run all of the commands in this generated file, and then it will send some basic um, configuration for Komorebi. And then finally, it will send this complete configuration command, which is the signal that Komorebi should start tiling the windows. Um, here we have a bunch of rules and configuration options that people have gathered together over the last couple of years for applications that act a little bit funny uh, when it comes to tiling window management. The idea is basically that we want people to have as frictionless a first experience as possible. So if you do come across an application that is acting a little bit weird, uh, what would be really great for everybody is if you could make a PR to this repository, uh, somebody just uh, added a PR for NZXTCAM. Um, and basically you just add all the tweaks to this file. Uh, you can get help about doing this also in our Discord. Um, and then it will get added to this file. So the next time somebody sets up Komorebi, it will just work more than it previously did. And the final configuration file that we should take a look at here is um, 
the whkd configuration file which sets up our key binds to do different things uh, so this default um, configuration well maybe it's better to call it a sample configuration there's no real defaults when it comes to Thailand window managers uh, it uses the vim home row keys with a mixture of the alt key and the shift key um, and yeah we'll, we'll take a, a look through these as soon as we start it up. So we're going to do comorabc start uh, this command here uh, minus a which is the short form of await configuration. You can just do a which is how I usually start this. So this is going to start. It might take uh, a little bit because I am on a resource constrained virtual machine but there we have it you saw the windows snap into place um, and so whkd is started you can see because i'm doing things but i think what might help is if i kill this process uh, and start it so that you can see the commands that are coming through so I've just hit focus right, focus left, move right, move left. Uh, we can open some more um, windows. So yeah, that's it. Um, I think that was how many minutes? I think that was probably just under five minutes end to end. Um, and that is getting up and started quickly with the quick start with Como Rebi. Uh, I hope this helps. And if you have uh, questions about specific configuration options, you can leave those in the comments. And yeah, if there is um, enough demand, I'll be happy to make some in-depth videos on the different configuration options available and how you can tweak those to your liking. Uh, yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this demystifies some stuff. Come and hang out with us on the Discord. There is a link here in the about. There are almost 400 of us now. A lot of very passionate people um, besides myself who will be very happy to help you out and, you know, get that tiling window management configuration of your dreams and make it a reality. All right, that is the end of the video. Have a good day.